All right, guys, I'll try and do this again. I just did one previously and it was hopeless. So uh, I'm going to show you how to hand coil the spring here, a special custom spring, and let's get started. I'm stuck with a tripod on my own, so you'll have to bear with me. I want to get rid of this 4mm mandrel and put in a 7mm mandrel. 7mm mandrel. It's been ground flat on one end. To start with, I'll show you why in a second. We'll get this in the chuck. This is just a hand coiler you've seen on my other videos. Now, what we're making today is an extension spring, a custom extension spring. Same size loop on one end as the, the parallel body, tiny loop on the other end for a tiny little bolt. Probably an M5, M4 bolt actually. So this is difficult to do by hand. But I'll show you how. We'll start off with uh, coiling the parallel body first. And off we go. Where's my wire? We're using 1.25 spring stainless wire today. I'll just hook it under the wire catch there. And start hand coiling. Now being a tension spring or extension spring, you have to pull back on the wire so that the spring itself has initial tension. If you don't pull back on the wire, if you feed it on straight, it's not going to have initial tension, so it's going to be pretty much useless. So we'll just wind it up to the flat section and we'll get right to the edge of the round area and then drop down onto the flat section. The reason it's got to drop down onto the flat section there is because the small section of the spring, the wire goes straight across the center. Actually, the both ends the wire goes straight across the center. That's an English hook where the wire goes across the center and loops around. So you can't do that English hook with the normal English hooking pliers that I've shown you before in previous videos, these little babies. So we need to get that across, pretty much across the center to start with when we're coiling. Now let me just chop it off with trusty Nipex. We love our Nipex. And we're not quite quite across the centre, so I will actually use my uh, homemade, handmade hooking pliers, which is just a bigger, uglier version of the real ones. And squash that down so it goes across the centre. We want it across the centre, just like that. Now. First thing we're going to do here is the large end, which is this end. Just going to use the hooking pliers to do that, and we'll cut this now in line with this little elbow bend here. Like so. Pick up our hooking pliers and do our first end loop. As you do, it's hard to see, I know. Get that lined up and squash them down like that. And like I just lost it. I'm either going to have to find it or make another video. Just bear with me one second. I heard it bounce, got to be here somewhere. And I can't see it immediately, so I will pause this video, and when I find it, I'll come straight back. 